I just say, we'll actually add more to them, because Keldons are... I thought they were better than this. I also thought they were better than this. These are all medium. I thought they were better than this. Okay. No. Yeah, three Keldons. Two Galores. Four but a Prey. Uh, 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 three for a Prey and a Vortex. Forget about them. And you know, why not a... What's Dominic ship? And why not a Warbird? Just be the boss. I kind of want to have more. Just be fair, let's have more curves. Oh, whoops. After the thing keys, with the friendly. The UI is pretty good. I mean, there's the reason why the Federation adopted this design. Alright, four curves, two nebulas. Oh, one galaxy should be enough. Alright, let's try this. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be really interesting. Oh, we're starting a revenue get colony. And into all this madness. Oh, Alright, first off, let's go fight the. Where are you? Oh, right, right. Well, for... It's to be fair. Okay, switch over to quantums. Oh, great. Oh, this is, this is the thing. Madness. Rest is just going for their shields. I gotta watch the thing on top left. You lock on with the quantums, but them's all oh, cool. I thought I, I told you to get quantums up. Quantum torpedo, sir. Hold on, I need to miss Oh right, bridge, different bridge, different bridge, there you are. Yes, Captain. Max weapons. It's injured, max shield. I think away this all a lot of game, but it's shield at all. Either. Or don't need sensors at all. Oh, that's why we think we're sensors. Order, sir. That makes sense. Sensors up. No we're engines, because we're going we're not we we don't need to go anywhere fast. Yeah, that's fine. We lock on Warbird. Low max speed. Mmm, this is sluggish. Okay, I take that back. We need to go fast. Yes, Captain? More. Main battery's fine. Main battery's fine. It's just for... It's just for battle. We're fine. Train all of our phasers. Maneuver. How she was doing? Oh, we're taking some serious damage from the from the side. Yeah, Wolverine doesn't think that's a stiff end. This. Maybe we'll get to fight one of them. Oh, that's not good. There's so many things on the screen. It's hard. I mean, don't worry about targeting the or even the lens. Where are phasers? No. There you go. Okay, we're going point blank into the face. We're going point blank quantums in the rear into their face. Then you don't have to move the turrets around like you do in World War II. Oh, yeah, angle, angle, angle. I think quantum go to go torpedoes go through shield. Fire all, fire all four. Or two in that case. You want to save the warper for last? Let's go pick on. Let's go pick on this Keldon. The raft shield has failed, Captain. Simulated enemy Cardassian. Oh, he's gonna ram us. Sir, another ship is on a collision course with us. Target Thank you for letting us know. Or I credit three who's gonna do it. Okay, let's try for quantums and oh no, aim, 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 aim. Our torpedoes are on our neck. We're below the saucer. Better. There we go. They are draining our dorsal shield. Uh, they are indeed, aren't they? Well, let's use factor in 3D space. Their left shield is draining, Captain. Simulated friendly nebula class has been. They got a nebula? They have hull breaches on multiple decks. Remember to hold down because that's how phases work. And we're going to get ourselves killed on. Killed on. Moving on to the galore. Remember, the, remember how heavy we are. Has been destroyed. We're good. Oh, uh, I don't know what direction he's facing though. Sure, let's do it. Lock on and fire up. We are falling in full cell. Well, what are you doing? Okay, how's our battery doing? Yes, sir. Oh, it's fine. It's, fine. it's 
it's just when you go to a reserve station. Oh yeah, we're facing its side. Actually, we're facing its dorsal, which is fine. Okay, let's aim. Oh, let's aim and reload the quantums. Uh, yeah, I don't care about your integrity at 50 percent. Another ship is on a collision. Oh, okay, maybe I do care about you. Oh, he's actually rushing us. Actually, if it's fri I mean, friendly. Oh, we lost the. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, maybe we bit off a little bit more. We can choose this time. Okay, let's get all our quantums into his face. Pulse ammo, wait for the lock. Aim, 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 aim it. Wrong way. Ah, uh, that's a long way. Cart. Ah, uh, it might be a waste. Alright, let's see if we can go for someone closer. Oh, let's do you. Alright. Yeah, just need back. Basically, I wish you could look around, but you really can't. Actually, maybe you can. I wish you could look around and click, but. Close in. Bart, we gotta worry about that shield. It's always that side for us. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Here goes the Helden. Target call integrity at 20%. Come on, lock on, lock on, lock on. Keep locking, keep locking. It's good enough for me, because it's perfect. Actually, sure, let's get switch over to the sea view. Oh, uh, well, this is crazy. And I guess the controls are weird. It's all down, man. Okay, that's fine. Their bottom shield. The quantum, this time switch Their over. Yeah, I switch over to single. Oh, it's fine. But fine. But basically, you won't be able to fire them at the perfect moment if you're maneuvering so fast. And Captain John, what is shooting me now? Their bottom shield are is you the full. It's the only oh, the first shield. Yeah, it's red. Now, the red moon. Usually mean actually red doesn't mean roaming at all, does it? Actually, what would you do over? It's still up somewhere. Simulated Our shields haven't failed yet. Fart, fart, fart. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, let's get a shirk. Go for two generators so it doesn't get even any more. And and got, and quantum should be able to go through the shield. Point front point uh stony shield enemy. Oh, it's facing us now. That's not good. We need not be faced by Klingon ships. Klingon and Roman ships share a design of point all, point all weapons to the front, whereas the Federation designs go for, for, for the philosophy of point all weapons in all directions. Oh, he cloaked the jerk. Who should this guy do? Shield is draining, sir. I didn't realize all of that came at lower than nine speed. Well, we should be able to win now. Because our curves aren't dead yet. I don't know if we're going to our tour galaxy. Captain? Um, that's pretty good, right? But yeah, yeah, I know we're getting it. Our oh, shaking for just getting hit by the shaking in the shields. Okay, okay. It's warped back. Oh, is draining, Captain. oh, oh, the Brave Praise are still up. They're just, they were invisible. Okay, let's be fine. You? Yeah, we did get it. Their top shield has failed. It's the top shield? Simulated friendly Akira class has been destroyed. That's not good. Alright, uh, maneuver than us. Okay, let's get, let's go the other way. Got bottom phasers in arc. Got to fire all the quantum to his face. How we know we have none? Oh, he's cloaked against that, che that cheater. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Let's go this. Uh, I'm sure, let's just keep up in firing on something. So these phases take a break. We get the dorsals down. And eat, we can feed them all the quantums. Sir, we are draining their top shield. And good, good, good. Oh, they got they got our top and bottom. However, as I said, Gremlin and Klingons don't believe in having weapons pointing in direction but forward. Pretty much. Okay, yeah, just follow the quantums. It's, it'll be fine. Why am I fighting that far? Because I didn't bet Ark yet. Okay, 
team and park window. Fire zone, something else. I wish you told you immediately what he's shooting you. Not a galore. A bear prey? Not, well, not that bear prey, but a bear, bear prey will do. Yeah, that, that's better. Oh, yeah, fire quantum. Oh, we don't have quantum. Too. That's more, too. That makes sense. Hang on, then they're cloaking. Shaiting, shaiting, shaiting. So there they are. So there they are for people that want to fight honorably. honorably. Fire rear and then. Oh, we're gonna fire rear then. Oh, Quantum's going to a better prey. They have a waste, but we got nothing else to shoot at. Here, I'll go down. I think it's still up. And wait for it. Uh, that's fine. Donk just cloaked. Yeah, I think picking on the little guys and I mean, doing the big guys when we have. When we had other big guys, made sense. Simulated friendly Akira class has been destroyed. Oh, that's not good. We, we gotta get more on the board. Where's the quantum going? Ah, oh, you got hit. That's so smart. Let's get to the work again. Sir, we are draining their top shield. That's their top shield, really? Okay. I know it's the true to form shield effects. Uh, get locked. Good luck with the rear torpedoes. And that should be fine at this angle. Uh, that's a bad angle. Oh, there's some damage. My sovereign's gonna last a ton a uh, while. It's firing phasers. I can fire this thing. There we go. Get luck on. Don't point with the nose, point with the neck. Good, we got one! Nebula's still up, Akira's still doing fine. Here's a fighter, wow. He's gone. Go far as anyone else. Shield is draining, oh, bridge you got back for a sec. Just, just stay here. Stay this way. Hey, mid fire. Go far anymore. Oh, actually, it tells you when you're aiming forward. Okay, well, there's a lot of distance, as you can see. 32 kilometers. What's firing on me? Oh, it's Sir, the are draining their top shield. Let's keep their shields draining. I think it was the Warbird that's killing everybody. No, I kept, I, I held the kill in the same regard to Warbirds. Yeah, I, they're just not the same, at least not in this game. You gotta watch our bottom shield. So let's start. Oh yeah, we gotta watch our bottom shield and get hit by it. Actually, turn the other way. Sir, they are draining our dorsal Simulated shield. friendly Akira class has been destroyed. Uh, we're alone, are we? We'll have to reduce power to some systems. That's not good. Got anything we can hit? Shields you, uh, we can, oh, we don't have. Oh, we lost our torpedo tubes. Yeah, we definitely be have more than we can chew with this battle. Integrity at 75%. Maybe because they all disappear. She's cheating. Shields are at 75. If I should have the galaxy, that would help. That's sovereign too. Microfractures are starting to form in the hall. Yeah, I think that's more than microfractures are starting to form. Oh. Okay. Oh, we lost towers and engines. Oh, that's Your not good. Y'all. Yeah, they got us. Fair fight, win, 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 GG. The ship has been destroyed. Ending simulation. Yeah. I think now your consoles blew up. Okay, let's try that again, except we're adding a galaxy. Actually, we need to take away some ships because that's just a lot of ships to mess around with. Okay, definitely the bird phrase and nothing to sneeze at. That's why they still use this. That's why, that's why they still use the suckers. Uh, two Catalans is fine. Okay, basically just want to keep in one less crazy, uh, crazy access to look. Two Galores is fine. The wo one Whooper is definitely more than enough. 
Actually, to make it more realistic, let's have two. Can I duplicate? No. Uh, let's have two. Uh, two galores. I'm still having two galores. Ah, I'm still having two galores. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, this looks good. Uh, yeah, this looks this looks good enough. Let's get two. Definitely. Oh, actually, let's get a bastard. How about that? The older style of uh, galaxy. Oh wait, yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Getting a bastard as friendly and uh, and another sovereign. All right, let's go. This should be a fair fight, I think. Let's see what my new new, uh, new player says. Oh, whoops. We're in the we're in. Your orders, sir. Got it. We got that up. We're definitely the sovereign. No, we're the sovereign. We're not the master. Let's play this again. Oh, all right. First off, we're basically going off weak ship number one. I killed it. Okay, go. Full speed. Okay, let's just a few captain. bits. Turn down sensory because we're going to really need it. Increase weapons. Increase engine. Increase you. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's a mini map we could use. Oh, Kelvin's had no shield generation at all. Look at that. Switching to Quantum. Quantum torpedo, sir. Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Sir, we are draining their top shield. Wow, counters have Nala health. We're Nala shields. Probably have lots of armor, though. Well, it's not, quantum's not up yet. I think the war sensor is the, uh, the, the, the hardest to lock on. Quantum's up. Quantum's not up yet. Panther, it's top shield. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Back. I always like to kill them design and just to kill in general. It's long to jerk so they can get out the cadastrians. Okay. Cousins up. And on the Ah! Exactly. We do know the curve more. Hopefully they come back. Let's try the rear. That's better. Bottoms! Oh, wait, I forgot where my rear is facing. We have collapsed their bottom shield. We have indeed. Is Nibla? Basically, I'll work out. I got basically I gotta learn how. I got to unlearn what I learned in Star Trek Online and go with and learn how it works in this game. Because Star Trek Online is, is a good RPG. It's not very good. No ship based game. Oh, I didn't want to be. I was I was looking at the, I was looking at the targeting rifle. Oh, do that. Uh, right, we need eight more forward. Quantums, I'll uh, get the rear quantums Sir, up. They have hull breaches on multiple decks. Okay, that's fine. I didn't mean it's like the old, by the way, but it works. Okay, I'm not going to care about you anymore. I'm going to care about the galore. The shield has failed, Captain. Ah, uh, okay. Simulated there enemy Cardassian Kelvin has been destroyed. Got one. We're going to worry about the warper at last because we need to kill all his little friends. Oh, shit, I should be fine. Now, you, okay, the, okay this, it does, the targeting thing does take into account we're facing. Kinda. Okay, we're going to angle again. Oh, he's done. The hall is severely damaged, sir. Another galore. We're on a Another galore. Course. He's done. Warbird's left for us. I'm pretty sure our friends can take care of the rest. Oh, our bastard are seeing some serious damage close to the station. Good, good. Oh, his rear, his rear arc is done. So let's go to the rear arc then. Knows. Yes, I'm Scushy Nose in the battle. Take the rear arc in. And, uh, angle, angle, angle. Overdid it. I'm used to the slower engines. Captain, we're on a collision course. We are! Oh, slow down. Immediately slow down. 
Hit C. B works. C. Collision course. Simulated enemy Klingon bird of prey has been Good destroyed. Course. Okay, there we go. This should work. Aim, 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 Complete hit. There we go. Integrity at 25%. Simulated enemy Captain, Klingon we have bird collapsed the bottom has shield. Destroyed. Well, bird's done. Let's watch the fireworks. For once, we didn't actually get to. Because we're in the midst of battle, we can't watch it. Oh, yes, we're in the midst of battle. Yes, I mean, we're fighting a bird trap. Bird trap. Ah, sure, let's fight the bird trap. I mean, it was the thing that killed us last. Oh, you're trying to get your quantum. Put them up. Shield has failed. Travel with my rear and good, good, good. Now ah, there we go. Oh, this gets me shot. There we go. And you're done. Yeah, we win, and we didn't lose anybody. Only the bastards took damage. Um, use our escape pods. Enemy Klingon Vortra has been destroyed. Yeah, we win. Yeah, we win. We did it. Yes. We looked off. Yes, I don't like having Riddler on. Cancel red alert. All right. So if we press D, oh, uh, oh, they switch. Oh, that tells you oh, they can go behind you. Okay, that's good. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, Vester took some serious damage to its front of, to the front of the saucer. It was okay. Okay. Uh, was that you know was that uh, in comment, please? And we're going back to the menu. Was that balanced? Uh, if all our ships came out of final, the bastard was suffering. Um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, yeah, it's about. Oh. Sorry about that game crash. It's a flickering, which I mostly fixed. Mostly, uh, which is that. I mean, I had to. I basically reinstalled the game a to show you a to show what the game looks like vanilla. And sure, that works perfectly fine with Windows 7 without any changes, which is amazing. Because, like, for example, I tried to do 2000 recently. I couldn't get that to work for any. I couldn't get that to work for anything uh, on my Windows 7, and I had to resort to using the uh, basically the that one mod. Uh, that the the one. Uh, what was it called? I'm I mean, I can, I'm terrible at remembering people. Of people. Um, people and uh, people and stuff. I mean, I've, I have been for the last couple of whenever, but yeah. How was it called? Uh, by the way, that the one command called command that that basically does that basically remade and remastered the uh, real, command conquer ruler command conquer Tiberian Dawn and working on Tiberian Sun and that. I, I did a video of it a, a while back, and I've been meaning to come back to it. I just update after update after update, and no uh, updating launcher, which. Oddly enough, I, I, I've been gaming for such a while now that I actually played games where you actually had to up you actually had to update it. Or you actually had to download a new version of the game every time it updated. However, so many games have launchers now where you they got where they got you know so many games have launchers now where they just update, especially having it all having the launcher always on like on, you can always have steam on you can well, have al always everything on nowadays but i think always steam I, what i do is i always have steam on for updates because turning it on for updating a game when updates change when i have some of these games and i'm looking up for some of the games that's not exactly feasible uh well well the wall of series well i call it wall of series but world warship war thunder and war not war thunder world war planes war, basically wolf tanks world war planes and world warships as that as that open and yes, I don't need to ever update them. And then stuff I need to update, like for example, well, I'm also got them online. I could have that open, I guess, but still, it makes it harder for when I actually want to play it. And then make war online. That's fine because it's a single game, but yeah. But yeah, but, 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 but that, that's gone off way off topic. But yeah, basically, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying before I got off? Oh, I'm terrible. Oh, yes, yes, games. Games that I, games I've been trying to get to work, yet couldn't get to work. Yeah. Uh, there, there, in 2000, I couldn't get to work on my Windows 7. Uh, I couldn't get 
Star Trek Amada 2 to work on my Windows 7. However, there is a mod called Fleet, Fleet Commander, which does work, and I'll be showing you a video of that soon. Again, for Star Trek Discovery, whenever I get a chance. And also, I'll be showing you the mods for this game, which I have, which... Again, I was, like I said, I was disappointed by the variety of ships in this game. Is there a good variety of ships? There are, it's definitely the best, it's basically the best ships of this era. Uh, you got the Galaxy, of course, the Galaxy the Sovereign, of course, because they're Enterprises. Then you got the Better Prey, because it's Better Prey, it's your standard, it's your, not really standard Klingon ship, but it's your most seen Klingon ship. You got Warbird, which is, uh, most seen Klingon, most seen Romulan ship, no, not really, but most, but basically, mo uh, I mean, it's not most anything, I mean, the, uh, I mean, basically, it's the most recognizable Klingon ship, at least to me. And it's the cap. And it's the Klingon. It's the Roman ship capital. Oh, by the way, most organ most organizable Roman ship, I mean. And it's their. And it's their capital of this era. And since the Klingons didn't get their capitals, well, bigger. Well, their flags bigger than. Well, bigger than the uh, bigger than Vortra, of course. Vortra is a medium. Uh, they needed. The, they needed the Warbirds to come in the game to have to have fun with. Then you got. Gardassians, Kardashians are pretty well represented because really it's all it's only the galore and Keldon, to be honest. But yeah. I mean again it's it's all the best ships. So you're not exactly you know, it's not exactly underwhelming, it's just underwhelming to me, because I expect more. I don't know why I expect more in games. Cause like, I can't tell you how many I can't tell you how many flying games I missed out on because they didn't have more than one plane. All those simulators, I didn't want to play because they only had one play. So, yeah, that's just the thing I have is, have with games is I expect to have multiple vehicles. Even if I'm only going to use one, if I'm going to use two or three, or even just one, I want to have a variety. And also, I want to have a, like, a quick battle mode. This game does have that. I, I, I know what, I didn't know coming into, I didn't know when I got... Bridge Commander that the game did have a quick battle mode like this because of course GL Fear didn't show it or at least I don't think he showed it I mean he didn't actually show any gameplay he might have showed the menus I forget I even forget what well, Alpira it is which is probably one of what the us three now because I have a video I, I now have videos of Bridge Commander on YouTube and he was one of them I uh, used the campaign which I could definitely do the campaign of this game for sure but I'll have to uninstall all my mods if I mean the mod does have a default game setting I'm pretty sure that just means default shifts and quick battle. I did try it. I don't think I ever got the campaign. I don't think I got the campaign to work, but I can always try it. You know, but I can always try it, so yeah. But we'll see. But yeah, but I'll, I'll definitely have to. I'll, if you all want me to do the campaign for this game, I'll definitely do it. And I'll try to get HG working, or well, more HG. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, definitely next uh, next up, I'll show off the I'll show off all the what what mods can do for this game. But ooh, uh, I kind of I mean uh, I kind of got a lot of games to do in like the la in the, like the next three days. For one, uh, the 29th is coming out uh, Gundam Versus, which I'm definitely going to be doing and do a lot of. And before that, I got some treats coming out on Friday, if everything goes well, if I feel well enough. And then, oh, yeah, and then Friday, also the 29th, I need to do, I need to do, I need to do War Thunder, because I just got an update, a major one, with the ERA era, or basically rank 6, their tier, I want to say their tier 7s or 8s, pretty much, uh, basically, Instead of just being early, early Cold War, it's more mid Cold War now. Which is interesting, I definitely want to do that. Although I'm not going to be able to use any of those vehicles, but I still want to do it. And then also, what what, is, what else is there I need to do? Oh yeah, um, Naval, uh, Naval Front, I think that's what it's called? But that just came out on Steam, I think again, I'm pretty sure it came out on Steam before. And it's being relaunched or something, people didn't like it on Steam before, or I'm not quite sure. I have, to, I have to do more research, but it's back, it's on Steam. Just got launched on Steam, I suppose. Gotta do that. And 
Yeah, I kind of want to do. I kind of want to do a mod too, but yeah, yeah, mod two as well as a mod two too. So I need uh, to start uh, special mod two, and then there's also yes, there's also I need to do the, ga the games I've been doing. Mov love. I need to do Alien Wars two again. Good idea. I, I, I basically got a lot of stuff to do. And yeah, and I'm not quite sure next time I'll be back to this. I intended. I was intending to play 30 minutes of of the vanilla of the base game, mostly messing around with quick battle like we just did, and only doing a tiny bit of the campaign. Yes, I did only one mission, but it lasted a bit longer than I thought. So yeah, but don't you worry. I also got sword with all mods because I when, when I was doing the game, I did it quick and dirty. Because I basically what I did is. Even even the quad even the Quasimodo mod didn't have all the shits I wanted. It didn't have the Galaxy X or Galaxy Dreadnought, the 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 the, Gal the Enterprise and the Last Episode of Star Trek: Next Generation that didn't have it in the game or that didn't have it in the mod. I need to put in the mod. Howard, the mod does cover pretty much every every Kinon ship throughout for, throughout the four eras of Star Trek. What's it three? But basically throughout the arrows, starting from Enterprise, Ta or the, the original series, and then into Next Generation to Voyager. And also, I mean, it's more limited on Enterprise, and original series is insanely limited, but still, no, it's still it's still a good story, man. Basically, when I say limited, it's as limited as this game, which you'll see when I get to doing those videos. But, yeah, so basically I had to add some mods, and even more ships. And when I did it, basically just had all of the ships in, 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 in the list for all the eras, which was silly. Like for example, I like for example, I found that there was an Enterprise J mod, which I always, which I was always find that the Enterprise J, the Enterprise from the thirty, from the thirtieth century, which there hasn't been a series that far yet, but there, but it wasn't Enterprise for various reasons. If you watch the Enterprise series, you understand. But yeah, but yeah, I always, I, I always. I basically liked the design, but I always thought it was pretty cool that it was the Enterprise from the, 30, from the 30th century. Yeah, and then also, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, and then also there is the 2009 Enterprise, is what it's called, but it's the new movie Enterprise. And I can't get really get, I, I haven't got that to work yet, but regardless, all all those were in all the eras, because the, cause, cause the mod, uh, the mod cuts all the arrows down into different installs. So basically, you just open the mod, or open the mod launcher, tell it to install Voyager, for example, and it installs all the brand new ships of this era. Then, if you want to play T TOS, you install TOS, and then it has none of those ships and only TOS ships. However, the Enterprise J would show up there, and I believe there's a way to get, and I believe there's a way to not have that happen. I just am figuring it out right now. So. I'll try to get that done. If not, I'll just have it the way I had it before, where I just had the mix. Where I just had the list mixed, but that'd be fine. I mean, it's it's, it's been version breaking for the menu, but and it's been hard. And well, it's not likely hard to. I know it's likely which ships are which, but for viewing purposes, it might be hard to tell. But anyway, anyway, I'll be just be showing that soon. Where what is soon? You might ask. Hopefully within the month, not not September, but the month of October for sure. With I would say within a week of this video, I should have another. I should have. At least another video showing off the new mods. Uh, depends on how well the mods working, which the mods are easy to install. It's, actually, they make the game run worse because they're mods. You know the, you know the, you know the, you know, you know the joke of Skyrim. You know the joke of well, any Bethesda game, modded tail crashes, of course. Well, that's what that, that's what those mods do. And the game works perfectly fine without it. So yeah, it's a bit weird, but yeah. I mean, also get that all sorted, and I'll get back to doing more Bridge Commander videos as soon as possible because I love this game, and it definitely fills the void that Star Trek Online had in my heart. At least until I get start, at least until I get my account back or say if it and just make an they make a new one. But I, I just I, I just couldn't I, I just couldn't I miss I miss my I miss my Galaxy Dreadnought. Uh, very badly, and and my also and also my oh uh, what's it called? But the but the the class that the enterprise the enterprise F in Star Trek Online is is made of, or it is cast in or same class as that, which that was amazing. At one point before they 
patched a game, it could kill a Borg cube in 30 seconds. Shield, full shields and all. So, I mean, my Dreadnought could do similar, but it could just murder them with Tekion. Tekion is what the name of those phasers are, the little ones. The ones that mess with shields more. And they start checking up right. Or start checking online, so yeah. And then also miss my pre-order bonus of the Constellation Crash, the original type, because there's a Constellation Crash in the game, but which was rated to the extreme. By the way, so I'll try to get my count back, but I really, do. I mean, I don't doubt it, but we'll see. Alright, so anyway, so that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I guess. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you watching these videos. It means that to me. And yeah, tell me if you want to see more Bridge Commander. I can definitely do more. I would love to do more battles. Love to do more battles. Also, campaign won't be too bad too, but I would definitely love to do more battles because I got this game not for the campaign because the campaign's a bit, a bit, yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit short. I think the campaign is around six to eight hours, which I'm saying a bit short, but that's just how things are in 2017. Back when not back in Marder, campaigns wore that length in most games, aside from hard, hard, hardcore RPGs, which we now call Elder Scrolls. Which is more than now, but and all and also and also, or and also earlier RPGs or JRPGs, which there weren't many in the North Americas at that time. Now they where they were not well. Not what was interesting at that time. I was interested in my most other game, not most other genres. I'm interested in most other genres now, but I mean, I'm interested in my shooters, my strategies, my big kills. My flying game, you can do IBs. Um, and some of sports, not release. But you can do IBs. Not in RPGs. My sister is, my sister is, oh, she does play all the older, so I know that they existed now, but still. Alright, by the way, so. Yeah, that'd be it for this video. Which, by the way, one, one last thing. You notice that Activision, I meant to say this so much earlier, but I didn't get a chance to. You notice that Activision published this game. Yes, Activision published. Activision published simulators before, or at least, ha at least, um, middleway simulators. Games like Half the Isle uh, Two Half of the Isle Two Simulator series, where they're simulators, yeah, but they're also very easy to, but they also they're not nearly as hard to play as Horcrux simulators are, uh, and some things they're a little watered down simulators, but they're still simulators. And this, and Activision used to make tons of them. They just stopped. I guess they wanted to make Call of Duty instead. Bit of a joke there, but not necessarily. Bit, not necessarily just a joke. So yeah, EA did too. EA did too. I I have some games that you want to show off eventually that EA made or EA did series and stuff, but they never. They just stopped. I mean, EA still makes simulators, kind of with Madden and FIFA and whatnot, but. And Battlefield, kind of, not really, but, I mean, yes, I'm a Battlefield fan, I mean, Battlefield's not simulator, but, yeah, I mean, no, what is this simulator that EA has made recently? I couldn't really tell you. Uh, the thing of Activision. But, yeah. And actually, I, I, should, I, should, I should show you another thing. This game, the most of Activision games have a certain feel to them. Most publisher games have certain feel to them, and I get and they put in certain categories. Like for example, Activision and uh, for example, like Activision, Indies, no, Activision, Activision, and Capcom have a similar spot of being the kind of uh, developers to me, where they're kind of jerks, um, and they're kind of low quality most of the time. And then you got EA, Nintendo, which are extremely high quality. It's like I mean, EA has more variety, I mean, yeah, high quality and variety. And then you got Sony, which Sony's the same, I suppose. But Sony's weird, though. And then you got, and then you got Ubisoft, which is in between, not as polished as EA or a EA or Nintendo, but a lot of games. And I mean, they they they've fallen in the in the, in the recent years, but still, they still make good games. And then you got Bando Nemco, Nemco or Ben? No, wait. Bandai Namco, I just call it Namco most of the time because I'm used to that from Ace Combat. My sister, my sister is actually used to Bandy because her whole RPGs go under that name. 
But that, that's also up there with the edge. Excuse me, the EA. But yeah. And you got and an Activision, like, like, I feel like I'm playing a Benny Nemco game or an EA game right now. I'm not feeling like I'm playing an Activision game. So that begs the question. I wonder what happened to Activision. Where did they go wrong? I mean, Call of Duty is the obvious answer, but Infinity War didn't want this. They kind of asked for it when they left EA to do their own thing with Activision. And then decided to just make the same game over and over again. But Activision is the one they called for the one year thing, but... Yeah, that's a discussion for another time for which one talks about, which I still haven't got done doing series, because I'm actually wondering about the format, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, it, it's just astounding where e, where Activision has been and where they and where and where they are now in 2017. So, yeah. But anyway, I'll definitely do more of this game. So yeah, all right. So that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I guess or videos. Just say thanks for watching this session. <laughs> they really, they really got me. And I guess also I'm just realizing the map. Actually, it's a very good map. Gamma, Delta, Beta, Alpha. Alpha is where everything takes place, as you can see. Got the control uh, system. All right. Well, anyway, that's all. Neat. That's all. One the show the vanilla game. Next up would be mods. And they'll be in the same playlist, of course. So, and the same series, although I'm going to be changing the name. Oh. It'll just be the same playlist, but the name, but the, ser the series might be different, and I'll change, and I'll, the series might be different because I changed the name. Alright, but anyway, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate watching this video. I said that already. And I guess, this, that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean I appreciate it less, but, but yeah, I guess. See you in a second.